Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 11th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a space weather update here, as we have a very active sun in view right now. Looking at 304 angstroms, we can see at least three or four M-class solar flares and one very close to an X-class solar flare in the past 24 hours. The past two days has been very interesting. One X-class and multiple M-class solar flares with these active sunspot regions. Very big indeed. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Keeping you up to date on space weather events, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Another closer look at these incoming active fiery regions. X-class solar flare there. M-class. And as I said, another near X-class solar flare. Looking at another light here. This is our almighty sun. Brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed in with daily events worldwide. Amazing images here. As we are under an R3 radio blackout watch. High frequency radio disruptions are expected. With all of these earth facing events. Now the latest M class solar flares did release two large CMEs, but not in an Earth-facing fashion. Having a look here at multi-spectrum, no coronal holes to talk about, only a sunspot party on the Earth-facing view of the sun. Another look here, we can see our heliosphere of our sun in action. So heads up and stay safe, stay aware and prepared everybody as these sunspots are turning around and we could have some even larger sunspots on the backside coming around. Tune in daily for the latest. Having a look here at the ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, as you can see a double CME blast taking off from cresting region of the sun. And as I said, not in an earth-facing fashion, but will produce somewhat of a small geostorm into the 14th and 15th of January. Strong radio blackout impacts are expected. And across the United States today, we've seen disruptions in air flights. Solar X-ray flux remains in heightened C range. And look at all those flares since that X-class solar flare. One, two, three, four, five M-class solar flares. Solar proton plux, flux. And geomagnetic activity sitting at about a KP2. Quick look at our highest frequency absorption map. As you can see, this is an elongated pulse and reaction to our planet. And a look here at LASCO 2. Showing here the last three days of events taking off from our sun. In the last frame, you will see that double CME shot. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in today. Much love and stay aware and prepared. We'll see you for tonight's update. Daily Do will be here for you. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your Daily Do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.